thank you for uh, joining us today. And today we're going to talk about custom attributes in virtual art uh, 2.0 and up. And I know it's been a real big pain in the neck for a lot of people, including myself. It just really drove me crazy because they really changed everything. And at first I really hated it. And it took me about literally around 20 hours of tweaking around with it, with the custom attributes until I really got the hang of it. And, uh, and when it clicked, I'll tell you something, um, it really is better than the old system. And here, let me show you why. Okay, so in order to start your custom attributes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna log into your backend administration area for Joomla, go down to Virtual <clears throat> Okay, so once you're in your Virtual section, you're gonna go to your custom fields. Okay, I'm just gonna move the uh, browser over a little bit so you can see. Custom fields. Okay, and what they did is that they made it so that you, you actually create your sizes, your colors, your weights, whatever you wanna create as custom attributes. And if you wanna create them in a drop down list, you can use them over and over again with your products rather than having to set your attributes individually every time you create a product like you had to in Virtual Mark 1.x, okay? And now, so what you have to do now is just set your, you actually set your attribute and all your values inside the attribute one time. And here you can see all the sizes here. Don't worry, I'm just going to give you a quick glance over. And then after we're gonna go ahead and create a whole new custom attribute. In your default field, you'll see all the attributes and the values that, that go into the drop down menu. Okay, anyways, let me cancel out. And we'll just go straight ahead and, and create a product, uh, create a custom attribute. So, you can, what you're going to do, you're going to create it, whether you're creating sizes, colors, um, weights, um, you're going to select new, you're going to go to cart variant. And that card variant, your, your title is going to be whatever the uh, group of values is going to be. Let's just do sizes, since I don't have that, I think. So sizes, okay, and it is published. We're not going to make it apparent. It is going to be part of the card attributes, because when the person selects the um, a value, it will be added to the card, whether it's, it's even if it's a zero field, it's going to show that the person wants a red shirt, okay? You can put a description in it if you want. And in the default field, this is the one that's very important, is where you're gonna put all your, your, uh, your sizes, okay? So right now I have it pre-configured, but you can see right away what that looks like, okay? So how you set your fields is by, <coughs> is by putting your, your, uh, the, um, the, the thing that you want, the item that you, the value that you want, hold on a second, let me just resize my window, because I'm gonna show you a little bit bigger, a little more clearly what that looks like. Okay, so my first value is going to be choose. Okay, and then after that, because this, ha this has, it could be uh, a neutral value, and it's not gonna change the amount, the amount that's in the cart. And then after that, I get my subsequent values, page one, uh, one page extra, two page extra, three page extra, and you can change that to whatever it is, and being that we're doing sizes, so I'll say size, uh, size triple X, double XL. X. And remember, you gotta keep the colons because that's what separates your values. Large. Okay, and then I'm gonna put another semicolon. Uh, medium. Semicolon, small. Okay, so now that I have it in my notepad, I'm just gonna copy and paste it into my default value. And let me get rid of this window. Okay. And then after that, it is going to be a list. And, and for formatting purposes, you can put on top, which is going to layer them up on top of one another so they're not scattered all over the place. And I kind of like them like that. So then I save and close. 
Okay, and once I save a close scope, I, I do already have sizes, but this is the one that we just created. Okay, and then now I want to add it to a product. So I'm going to click on the product section. And then we're just going to pick any uh, regular uh, product. It doesn't matter. Then you go to your custom fields. Okay. And you can see that all the custom attribute sections are here. I click on sizes and then it automatically pops up here a size. And all the different variants are here as well. The values are here. So my first one is going to be choose. So now that I want another one, I'm going to click it again, click sizes, and it's going to pop up another one underneath the other value. And here's when I start uh, uh, formatting my drop down list. Excuse me. Okay, X sizes large sizes medium sizes again. And we get small. Okay, and now that we we have we have all the attributes that we want, we will click and save. But if you want to add a price value to it, you never have it to the first one because once you come into the product, it automatically adds one doll, whatever product price value price you have there to the amount. So the first one will always be kind of like choose, and then they'll click on it, and then they'll have the drop down values, and you can set your prices here for like one dollar. $2 for extra large because sometimes it uses more material or something like that and uh, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to make everything $1, okay? And I'm just going to remember what it's, this is the product that we're looking at, okay? So now I'm going to save and close it. Okay, and now we've just added the... Um, we just added the drop-down list to the uh, product, and let's go see if we can find it. Okay, and now we can see here's the product. Obviously, this is not a shirt or anything of color. It's just for the uh, drop-down purpose. And you can see that the first value is actually without a cost, so it doesn't actually modify the price of the value. And then if you click on the, tri uh, the triple XL, then when you add it to the cart, it will add the price. And there you go. It's as easy as that to set your uh, custom attributes. In practice, a few times, you'll see it's a uh, cinch. And then after that, you can just keep adding the custom attributes to every product simply that way without having to recreate them every time. So it's a much better way and a much better system. But unfortunately, I think we're going back to the, uh, the old way in 2.3. So thank you for watching.